Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another album review. Uh, it's been a while since the last one, so I thought, uh, you know, let's let's do one. So today we're going to be reviewing Karma by Murath, I think. I, I, I think that's how you pronounce that. I'm not 100% uh, sure on that pronunciation, but uh, I found this album yesterday i think yeah yesterday uh and wow is this album uh it's something uh so i guess to describe the sound of this album it very much feels like if you took dream theater and just kind of tightened up the songs a lot more like how it feels to me is very much of like if you took dream theater and then just kind of made the songs a bit more, uh, I don't know. I would, I don't want to say catchier or hookier because it's definitely not it here. Uh, they're, I don't know. Uh, because Dream Theater has plenty of hooks and melodies for days. Um, the only thing I can say is, is think of this as like a Dream Theater, but that makes shorter songs essentially. Uh, and it's pretty, pretty decent. It's good, even, I would say. Um, one of the things that really stands out about this album, to me anyways, is, uh, nothing. <laughs> no, but, uh, uh, one thing I like about this album is the fact that it does feel like Dream Theater, obviously. Uh, that definitely feels like an influence, uh, for this band. Uh, for sure, you can hear synths and keyboards going off, off all the time, and uh, the tempo on one of the uh, the riffs on one of the song's temples, uh, the verse riff is actually really catchy, I really like it, uh, but yeah, this is, like I said, kind of like a dream theater that um, just makes shorter songs, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, there are some, like, you know, maybe styling differences. Uh, but, uh, if you like Dream Theater, you'll probably like this. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and it doesn't waste your time either. It's only around 47 minutes. Uh, so, you know, for a kind of, uh, album and band like this, that's a, you know, not, not too much out of your day, I, I would, I would say. <laughs> uh, unless you're just super busy all the time, which, yeah. Anyways, uh. What else can I talk about? Um, one of the things that, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, I've never also, I've never listened to this band before, but uh, I'm interested to see what they have going forward. It's really interesting. Some of the songs definitely feel a bit, mm, uh, and that's kind of how I feel about Dream Theater sometimes too. I don't like it when songs go super old school, kind of, uh, with their sound and stylings a lot of the time. And, uh, that's not felt so much on the verses as it is on the chorus at times. At the times, I'm like, hmm, good build-up, not, not great chorus, uh, overall, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I really have to talk about, so I'm just gonna get into my favorite tracks. Uh, so let's get into that. Temple Walls. So Temple Walls, uh, uh, side note, I didn't look up what any of their tracks are about or try to dissect what they're about. So I'm just going to go off based Song Fuel. Um, and Song Fuel is really strong on this one. The verses have this really cool riff. Uh, and just overall a really nice forward kind of pace vibe. Uh, the chorus is a little... Mm, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's nothing like mind-blowing. Um, it's okay. Uh, it definitely serves the song at least, which is, you know, nice. Uh, it serves the song, which 
you know, it works. It's it definitely it goes into that kind of somewhat cheesy territory that I'm not a big fan of. It's it's why I don't like any uh most of the stuff is Avenged Sevenfold has put out after uh Waking the Fallen just way too old school sound but this has a really nice mix that i i, I quite enjoy uh moving on to the second song <laughs> to the stars so uh from what i can get this song is about going beyond the stars and you know seeing all the possibilities and whatnot i mean the leading line of the chorus is no one can stop me at all so <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a really great song from the opening, uh, bass line that we get that is really groovy, like, seriously. And it comes back in the, it's not only the main verse, uh, bass riff, but it also comes back a later in the song as well, and it's just, mm, spectacular. And this is a great opener for an album. It's spectacular. Legit, it's really good. Um... Not only does it nail the chorus, uh, which a few songs, like I have said, don't, but this one absolutely does, and it's so good. It strikes that anthemic, you know, preaching to the uh, choir kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. It's just so grand and big, uh, almost theater esque in a way. It's awesome, and it's so cool, and I love it. Um, uh, the Verses are also really nice. Uh, they have a very straightforward pace, and the vocalist, he's doing God's work. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, that's really all I have to say. Really great song. If you, if if nothing else, please check out this track. If if you're if you don't, if you're not sure you're into this, listen to this track. It might change your mind. Uh, but let's get into um. Well, let's get into the third. And final of the favorite songs, which is... Wheel of Time. Wheel of Time is one of the slower tracks on the album. Uh, not the slowest. There's a slower track. I uh, forget the name of it. But uh, yeah, uh, this is a really great, honest track. Uh, I assume it's about time and you know, time-related things. Again, I didn't do research on the songs. I probably should have, but I wanted, I really wanted to record this video and get it out to you guys. But, uh, yes. Oh. This song is beautiful, especially the chorus. The chorus especially uh, reminds me of Evergrey, which, if you've ever heard that band, that's also a good analogy to put here as well. I'd say this al album also sounds... It's, it does sound like Dream Theater in points, but also kind of sounds like uh, Evergrey as well at certain points. Especially this song uh, really reminds me of The Beholder uh, from a few years back. Uh, as you'll note, I think you'll know that uh, that album from 2021. I think that made I think that made the list. I don't remember honestly. But uh, yeah, this is a really great track. Uh, also. Uh, I, I read the band's Spotify page. <laughs> Turns out, uh, I don't think they use keyboards, which that's my mistake. I, I should have done research. Uh, but they do, they're, uh, I, gosh, I'm, I'm not gonna try to pronounce where they're from, because I know I'll mispronounce it, but they include Middle Eastern instruments into their sound, and you can really hear that on this song. And on pretty much every song, they have some kind of horn or string section in the back playing along with the riff or lead of some sort so yeah uh, that's really cool actually it makes for a really interesting thing the probably haven't heard too much of uh before so yeah um this is a really good album I, I don't have anything else to say it's it's just a really great album if you like prog music uh you'll probably enjoy this especially if you like dream theater or Evergrey. highly recommend uh, if you're looking to get into prog music, I don't know. It, it definitely feels, uh, I don't know if it's the most beginner-friendly thing. Um, I'd say the most beginner-friendly song on this is probably To the Stars or Wheel of Time here. Uh, but yeah, I, you know what? yeah, I think this is a strong beginner album. If you want to go into the progressive 
uh, rock or metal scene. I think this is a good gateway album uh, if you are interested by this. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I know it's been a while. <laughs> I haven't uploaded since December of last year, but you know, that's okay, that's okay. I'm here now, so, you know, yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, quick update. Um, uh, I don't know really what to do for the next video. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments. I read the comments. Trust me. Uh, but also, um, if you have any albums you want me to review, uh, do you think uh, that you would like to hear my thoughts on, please leave them in the comments. I'll check them out. If I find them interesting enough, I, I'll probably make a video on them. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.